This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Just go to that dope or stand and just shoot one with you talking to that lady, you know? No, it's the same lady. Now let's just do a circuit around and just, you know, mention some things as we're walking around there. Okay, we're shooting now. We got pretty good sound, not too bad. Yeah. Okay. That's real nice. Lots of fresh market here. Yeah, the tour tone. Yeah, looking very friendly. Yeah, I like this thing here. This is the thing I like. I like this pea. Look at pea, it's in Hey. Hey. <laughs> like making uh, egg rolls. And... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 this is the market, huh? Okay, sounds good. We lost a little bit there, huh? Cleaner, yeah, cleaner. So James, while we're walking, we can talk a little bit. And we can see that one of the things you notice, and Anthony just said, is that a little bit more cleaner and organized than a Taiwan wet market. Yeah, it's definitely regulated, isn't it? So it's the way that they've cleaned up the aisles. Even so, you've got the little walkways inside, it's all tile, but still inside. You can see that same kind of features that we see in the Taiwan wet market. A little bit of the clippings down on the floor. I would say washing the floor very regulator still has that wet feel to it. And yeah, you got people cleaning up all the time, keeping it really nice. And this one is kind of interesting because it's a sort of fusion stall, isn't it? It's halfway between uh, something that's like a shop. It's got a little bit more decor than I'd expected, actually. Mm -hmm. Eggs. Yeah, we've got all sorts of sizes and shapes there. Right down to the hub. I have the pigeon's eggs, I never know. My wife can always debate whether it's pigeon's eggs or a very small chicken egg. Yeah. Interesting, this one's empty just now. I wonder if they've done their business for the day and headed off. Nuts and chilies, this must be for the hot pot, it looks real nice. Yeah, we can see the real convenience of coming in here. It's the same as a Taiwan situation. Come and get your fresh food and you're out of here. Even if you have two working people in the family, you can come in here, pop in, get your stuff for a week, pop out again. Look at me, these are lovely and fresh. Just on the left here. 
all very accessible. Oh, you can see our ginger. I just want to reach out. I just you can see our, our consumers like yeah, to touch nice. things, feel things about. It's like a farmer's market. Want to get their hands on it? Check it out. Yeah, look at that lady there. This is huge, isn't it? And I always forget what we call it. It has a, that's the slightly bigger one, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Look at these enormous cucumber. The huge one just here. <laughs> they just slice it off. Huh. And those knives are so sharp. It's huge. Popping it on fresh here, piling it up. No, the stall is just overburned. It's like that whole scent, so really overburned. Yeah, well, what I like right here is you can see one stand right here and then one stand right there. And there's not a big difference between the offering, but there's a line there and there's not a line here. That's right, they're all gathering, aren't they? And you see these ladies coming around, I'm sure. Another one will join, that chap is getting interested on the lights out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trees. Once you get a line, you generate a line, you generate that kind of interest. And here we go, on the right here, two are starting. Give a few more minutes, I'm sure. We've got another lady on the other side there, getting interested. These raw ball are getting piled up. They've got real nice. And here's all of our sour things. These are really good. Nice pickles. So, you know, lots of similarity with the Taiwan market, but then the difference is that cleanliness very regulated. In fact, we talked to some shop owners about the regulation, that they're checked weekly. They told us weekly, maybe monthly, although they emphasize weekly. I'm not sure if it's sure if it's possible. This is definitely very, very clean. I mean, when you see in the decor, I mean, for me, if you look at the ceiling, it's all painted white. We've got the air conditioning units covered up. That's really unusual up there. And also running down here, we've got those classic, the light bulbs. People want to see what they're getting. It's really bright. And then this uh, egg shop on the right here, just the same thing. The lights right down so you can really, really see what you're getting. It's all about using all the senses to judge the product that you're getting. Sight, touch, smell. Like with a doffel lady, she just gives you the doffel, smell it, see how it is. You know? mm. You're invited to participate, to get closer. Seafood. What have we got on the right here? These look like... Uh, eels. Slimy, slithery things. Eels, the yeah. eels. Yeah. I can't believe they're dead. They must be just resting. Uh, wow, yeah, look at these. Around. <laughs> Those are real busy, aren't they? They look healthy. The lady okay. just preparing them there. And here's our pork area. Then here's our chicken area. Oh, the chicken man. You can pick your chicken. Here you get to oh, pick your you chicken live. the chicken. Oh. And so here's a little bit different from Taiwan. In Taiwan, usually you pick your chicken after it's been slaughtered. Here you can actually be picky about picking it. Oh. And that's really neat. And here we can weigh it before we slaughter it. Man recognizing us because we swung in the other day. Yeah. We'll talk about some of the little details. We keep all the chickens the here. The same and different. Mm, very excited to see us. Do you remember this? Oh, we've even got some some uh, duck down there as well. Been busy for a long time on that box. Then we see the slaughtering back here, which is exactly the same situation we described in Taiwan before. We take chicken through, wash it through disembowel it and then send it back to the customer right out the window here. Very convenient. Yeah. So what I really like is if you're in a Taiwan Tsai Si Tsang and you can see, you know, people can really get picky over their chicken. And I, when I uh, did some uh, field work, I actually worked with these people selling the chicken in the market. It's like, I couldn't imagine how people get so picky about that chicken. But here you can actually come in and get picky about your chicken before you even slaughter it. That's it. 
And I think that's, that's, that's really, really cool. exciting. Yeah. And I have to say, I mean, the conditions are not perfect, but they're not bad. And, you know, the chickens are in pretty, pretty decent conditions here before they get No, well, they told us they're regulated. They're regulated. They're being checked. So you mean make a make a yay jianca yi zi? Oh, 没有这个语言，我让人干嘛呀？他们不敢呐，不敢。So you get the government regulations. We have the signs posted all over the market. And in this way, Taiwan's you know getting the regulations set up. They're doing the same thing, but I don't think they've been as regulated. And here he tells us they're checked every week. Which I can believe, actually looking at the stores, you do feel, it might not be every week, but you really feel that sense of regulation and control and management here. Yeah, uh, definitely, definitely can feel that. Okay. So you mean this is a year? This is a year? How many years? Five years? Five years? Five years? Five years? Five years? Five years? Okay, wants to spy on my camera when I try to film he runs away. <laughs> That's very normal. Okay, we'll head downstairs now. So, you know, up here we had the meat, very much like Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, this is great. Yeah, zooming on these guys. These are all the workers here, I guess. I'm wondering what the star system is all about. Yeah, that's yeah, great. It still has that feel to it, doesn't it? Hong Tu, you are here. This one has a very big boat. I presume this is Lao Ban. Yeah, it has to be. Star, star yeah. Now these, oh, the fish heads. Yeah, down here we have the fish. Yeah, the fish heads are in. And again, you know, dealing with the fish is so much water, such a mess. But they got the drainage pipe to keep it real clean. I think they're really organized and taken care of. Here you see the fish cut up, still breathing. His head's cut off, still breathing. This is fresh, fresh, fresh. That's true, yes. And of course, the head is such a delicacy here that those are never going to get thrown away. Those will be prized possessions for someone to take home. Yeah. In England, uh, I had a friend, she used to wait for the fishmonger. But the fishmonger knew she'd come every week and he used to have 16 or 17 fish heads in England ready for her. This one's interesting. So here, this is great. We have a TQM sign. And so we have a total quality control from the fishing to the production to the distribution channel. And they give us the whole lay down right here in the store. So this is a kind of a point of purchase, emphasizing a kind of brand. And it's about the total quality control. And we're in a, we're in a wet market. And I think that's the point a lot of people who are not local don't get. You really have the, it's, it's, it's not without channel, it's not without organization, it is. It's just that when you see it, the emphasis is on freshness, not on packaging. It is, it is. Uh, you can see these guys are really <laughs> live. It's beautiful. Right. Uh, they have a little medical center there checking checking blood pressure, or are they oh, doing yeah. some kind of Chinese medicine thing? Oh, is it? I, I didn't see that too well. The dad's getting stuck. Hey, you can speak Chinese. Hey, a little bit. You can speak Chinese. This is for Li Liao. Li Liao. Keeping 
It's like acupuncture. There's no needle. They put the thing right on you and send you the shot. Uh, okay, okay. So this is this machine you are buying? Ah, yes. You are right. Are you doing the toes? Then will it be free? No. Uh, it's free. Free trial. Wow. Trial for free. Free. Wow. <laughs> That's great. Anthony, you want to give a trial? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really too healthy. Oh. I enjoy it now. Okay, that's good. Fine. <laughs> no aches, no pains. No pain, no gain. <laughs> I, I, I prefer the other expression, no pain, no pain. <laughs> <laughs> we have our ready-to-eat food, which I really always love. You know, you got the wet market, and then there's a right there, ready-to-eat takeaway. Know, yeah. It's just so, so convenient. It's interesting as well, the amount of glass, you know, I see more and more of this kind of glass, particularly here in China, that separates the customer a little bit from the people inside, but you can still reach in, you see people reaching in through those little portholes. Well, just up at the chicken place, it was all covered with glass too. But you could pick the chicken through there. That's right. And exactly what she wanted. And still the same procedure, they're interacting with the staff to really get down and choose exactly what they want. This one looks a bit, uh, a bit sort of... Ah, uh, very quieter. nice. This is a very nice fruit area, very nice, very well done, very... Give you that kind of happy, clean feeling, you know. And then we come out, and we're right in the center of a newly... It's an old area of town, I think, but it's being redeveloped. So we can see a lot of construction going on, a lot of higher-end people maybe moving into this area. So You can see a whole lot of air conditioning over there. And I guess the ones on the left is probably still to the middle because you see, again, a lot of air conditioning units on those sort of houses over there, those green stack kind Everybody of got houses. You know, this is Shanghai, after all. This is not a, not a rare thing anymore. Well, it's not a rare thing, but it costs a lot of money to run those. Ah, the electricity, yeah. We were just talking to the students the other day. The electricity gets cut off at 12 o'clock in the night. So oh, really? I think uh, power must be fairly pricey here. And if you just look up here, I think this is real nice just to see this shot of the way the laundry is dried because that's just so, uh, so local. You've got that metal casing plus the bamboo. There's our market. You wouldn't notice it if you passed by it and you didn't go in and see what's going on there. You'd go right by it. So you can see all the people going in and out, and we clued in on it, got in there, and a lot of these markets, medium, this kind of medium-sized one. And, uh, well, there you are, a nice little wet market, James, in okay. Shanghai. And notice what we've got here. We've got the parking right outside. The lady's just loading up her electric bike there. There's so many of these electric bikes around the city, and uh, she'll be right off again. Okay. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Pull back a little bit. Um, 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 鱼肉那个猪肉那边他们说是每个礼拜会检查是每个礼拜买的一个月哦已经是星期一星期一就会检查然后他们会检查什么那个卫生卫生卫生肉的质量嗯安全健康是安全健康嗯这是上海第一流
，有啊，跟类似这样的。呃，像我们这样的，现在我们这个集团，就是上海市名人。企业管线，企业管，现在已经有十三个店，十十三，哦，蛮多的吧、啊？所以就是跟你一家公司合合开，然后在、呃、在上海开的分公司，分公司，哎、呃、，branch， 呃，分公司。分公司，所以所以就是在里面每一个、嗯、每一个小店就是要住那个空间，嗯嗯，住空间。我们都有执照，执、嗯、照，嗯，执照，执照都得有、嗯，身体健康，嗯嗯也得有、嗯，不要拍我们俩，那、嗯、他是拍我啊，拍你啊，<笑><笑>那你给我们俩照个相，<笑>能拿出来吗？照片还拿不出来、嗯，所以你这里的工作是负责什么？负责车子。Oh, Chozu. So she's responsible for the parking area here. 不收费，免费。免费，没有收费。不要收费。有的地方会收费啊。啊，有的地方。有的会。啊，不收费。啊，不收不收。哎，不收费。哎，那不错啊。好像是顾客至上的思想。啊，我们这个老总。啊，了解了解。总公司不在这个地方，我的是一个分公司。啊，分公司。住住公司在哪里？总公司在长桥。好，长桥啊。我们这公司也很大，所以这个哪一天是最忙的、啊，最多人啊？好像今天、昨天都比较。星期六、星期日。哎，对呀、啊。嗯。哎，因为他人都放假了。嗯哼。人很多。会不会是很多人是一个礼拜来一次，买一个礼拜的东西放在冰箱？每天都有，没有新鲜吗？每天都有。像你外国是吃东西要吃新鲜，要吃健康的。嗯，中国人喜欢新鲜，新鲜的哈。嗯，咱们外国也是。好，谢谢呀、啊，谢谢、啊。楼、啊、上去了吗？有啊，有，蛮蛮蛮好看的。两楼去了？哎，有，都有啊，鸡、哦、肉、猪肉都在二楼啊。啊，对呀、啊，对呀、啊，对呀、啊，是吧、啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊？还可以吧？很很干净，非常好，非常好。嗯，这里能不能能不能杀价？杀价？哎，价钱价钱是固定的吗？我们有价格表哎、啊嗯，你看到了吗？所以固定的哈。看那价格表了,了，我们每天一次价格，嗯嗯，这不能变，呃、不能变，不能变。商超客户假设你买十八块五毛，对、嗯，就给你拿去五毛，嗯，只是从内心对你、嗯，因为认识，对对对，朋友啊，呃，对呀、啊，嗯，是不是朋友就你去买，我领你，你去买，他也可以少要你几毛钱，啊、哦，就是从感情上从，从、嗯，因为是朋友啊，认识啊，认识，不认识也是这样啊，好、哦，不认识也是这样，哈哈哈哈哈，哈哈哈哈哈，不认识。<笑>不错不错，嗯，很好，嗯，几点宝贵意见，嗯，不错不错，嗯，好，谢谢呀、啊，谢谢呀、啊，我们的厂就是干净，所以你住在附近哈、啊，我不住这里，啊，住中山南两路，哦，所以你要花很多时间过来啊，我早晨得坐两部车到的，哦，嗯。哎，不错不错，所以每天会来啊。每天他们没有一天休息吗？有一天休息。星期一。不，我们你今天休息，我明天休息，这么。哦，就换人了，嗯嗯是不是？嗯、但是。但是菜市场是每天会开。对呀、啊，每天春节都开。哦、啊。我们的春节也有开啊，那可能。啊、春节也开。那。哈哈。满足大伙要求，春节。好好好，谢谢呀、啊，谢谢。啊欢迎你再来吧，谢谢啊，谢谢啊，很高兴啊。刚才问一下你，好 ，Thank you， 啊，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢，啊 ，Very good、uh,。有时间就过来，哎，看一看，很，很高兴啊。宝贵意见，啊，我们的老总也很走群众路线。哦，这样。哎呀，我们老总也很好，哎，每次每周得来几次来看。看尾声，看我们的广场干净吗？看我们的广场，小弟听懂了吧？看我们的干广场都很干净，很干净，很干净。This is talk of Asian marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior.